how to use the grid direct selection tool and convert to frame options in Photoshop. So first I will create a grid. I will click view, show and grid. Now we can see that we have the rulers here and if you don't see them on your workspace you can click view and rulers or control command R. Now let's check the rulers. They are I can click and drag rulers to my document and we can see that it's now in pixels which is good if your document is for web but if not you can right click on the rulers and convert it to a millimeter and if we click and drag we can see that each guide is 6.4 millimeter now we can control them under edit preferences guides grid and slices and now the guides grid and slices I can have the grid line every one centimeter so one grid line divided to four click OK now they got a bit smaller and if I drag I can have more control five millimeter ten millimeter and I can bring back the guide now we'll use the triangle, just create one triangle here and if we will zoom in with Ctrl plus and click Ctrl plus to zoom in and move to the direct selection tool. Now with the direct selection tool, let's make sure we have our anchor point exactly on the line, click yes and here as well. Zoom out and with the move tool I can hold the alt or option key and just copy the same shape. Control T or command T on the Mac. Right click and flip vertically. That makes and that's the way the way to be really precise with the spaces when you have different shapes. Again, I can copy the triangle. Again and again. And when you have just one row, you can just select with the move tool all of them and copy it to another. And make sure you have also the same space here. Perfect, now we can select all of them or just few to place an image. Let's try to select all of them. Layer, first I will have to merge shapes, Control command e convert them to a frame, right click on the layer name and convert the frame, click OK. And now we can place them, place just one image inside all the triangles but it's important to use the grid to make sure you have exactly the same space between elements. Let's click view to hide the grid show and grid. Zoom out and I can move it maybe to the top here and continue adding text or shapes and design my Facebook posts, flyer, etc.